I, I think from his personal life to how his professional life is going and then the way that, that things have evolved for him and his family. And it's just been such a wonderful year for, for him across the board. And, you know, I know now that he is a, a freshly minted 22 year old coming to spring training and, and getting ready. He too will be prepping to go play in the WBC. Um, it'll be a, another really fun year to watch these players grow and, and it's going to be a fun year to see what Julio does in in terms of stepping into more of a leadership role. And it sounds crazy to say that for for a young player who just turned 22, but as you guys know from having spent time around him, that's part of his cachet. He has that in his bag of tricks, and, and I'm curious to see how that evolves as we move forward. I may be wrong on the timeline here, Jerry, but I don't think I am. I think it was about this time last year that Julio had made a commitment to his speed that he went to work you know, with the trainer down there and, and a guy that trains a, a lot of athletes and, and wanted to make sure he was fast enough to play center field because he wanted to be your opening day center fielder, which is exactly what he was. So if it was a, a, a high function on speed last off season, what is it in his game, in his body, in his size, strength? Is there anything there that he's focusing on coming into this 2023 season? I don't think it's anything physical. I, I think it's more consistent routines. And you know, so much of 2022 for, for Julio was about experiencing firsts and establishing himself as a major league player, you know, and, and going through the initial struggles that then the, the, the phenomenal success that followed it. I think this year for Julio is, and what his season has been about has been building those, the, those repetitive, those routines that, that really – separate the elite players uh, and and I know that's important to him and those are lessons that he's learned from watching other great players around the league and you know I know in, in his offseason Julio works out with a group of hitters and, and they are an elite group of hitters that that spend a lot of time together and I'm certain that he's coming up with you know a lot of things to add to his set of routines that that will make a difference long term.